after releasing the Man O' War wireless headphones, Razer is also making a wired version of it, which is more affordable, at the same time improving upon the surround sound quality. Boom! But is it really worth it? This is the Razer Man O' War 7.1. First of all, we are always amazed with the effort to make exclusive looking boxes while still retaining professional feels. The unboxing experience is also very Razer. When you open the Velcro, you will face this very letter of gratitude from Razer CEO. Even though I know this is just a mass printed simple letter, things like this is what makes consumer feel much more appreciated after the purchase. Inside, you will find a headset, an extension cable for 3.5mm jack, and a single USB adapter. Oh my god, I really like the design of this headset. Like, elegant, but still feels so gaming. I even prefer something like this than the Kraken Pro which had two color schemes. The Razer logo on top looks more minimalistic than the former Miller design. Unfortunately, on the sides, the headset does not have any LEDs like the wireless version. On the edges, the settings and volume button are no longer there since it has moved onto the cable. For the cushion, I kinda like the Fox letter which feels like the real deal and seems to last long. At the bottom left, you can pull out the flexible mic which unlike the wireless version, does not have notification light. When I rest this headset on the table, the cup was able to twist 90 degrees but sadly, when I laid it down, the headset does not lie flat and is going to eat space when carried around. So you better get yourself a headphone stand. One thing I feel like they need to improve is the build quality made of plastic which makes screeching sounds when being twisted around. Let me remind you, for the best listening experience, you better don't plug in this 3.5mm jack directly, but through this USB adapter. Why? Because inside there's a mini sound card which controls the surround sound experience. Now let's hear from the usage perspective. The main body is very flexible for many different head sizes, and the length can of course be adjusted. Then, the cushion that keeps the ears from touching the drivers are amazingly soft like marshmallows and makes it comfortable to be around the ears for hours and hours. But since some ears are bigger than the others, you still have a chance of touching the headphones. Another thing I like about this cushion is how easy it is to detach and attach it back. Before we go into the sound quality, I want you to hear the quality of the microphone. You know what guys? For the microphone quality, I've actually dubbed this whole video with this microphone. You don't realize it, right? The voice is very clear, free of distortions, and the volume is well balanced. And it's basically very usable for voiceovers. On the downside, it actually is very sensitive to so things like my breathing is also being picked up. But basically, this is the best gaming headphone microphone I've ever used in my life. Now we're talking about sound quality, which is good, but nothing spectacular. The tagline made me think that this headset features multiple drivers in a single ear cup, but in reality, only one 50mm driver assisted by virtual surround sound and Razer Synapse exists. So far, the surround sound isn't that different from the G933 Artemis. But I got to admit, the sound is very clear, and what I like is the flat sound profile, making this headset friendly towards video editors. For the subwoofer, it sounds more to the heavy side, bass boosted. Last is about the details, which unquestionably can be compared to monitors like the Audio Technica M40X. The conclusion is simple there are plenty of gaming headsets delivering sound quality not much different like the more affordable Logitech G231 Prodigy but there are multiple reasons to justify choosing this headset. Elegant, comfort, good quality, clear microphone, and brand. That was a Razer Man of War, both wired and wireless. Alright, that's it for the Razer Man of War 7.1. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And as always, have a nice day.